My preparation has been pretty good. You know, I've been training six, seven weeks for this fight. You don't want a hometown decision, so you're after a quick knockout. Yeah, that's uh, that's my forte. You know, I usually like to knock them out. You know, and then think about the points later. But Victoria's, I always do my best. Victoria's most improved fighter, 2002. A great honour for you. Yeah, it was a good accolade, and um, I thought I kind of, I deserved it because I thought you know every, the best fighters in. Victoria, and then, you know, a Queenslander, and um, I'm willing to fight anyone. Well, there he is, Mr. Stephen N.G., and uh, we won't get any arguments here from him. He's uh, a really hot prospect. Troy Waters, he's got uh, some physical advantages there too, certainly yeah. in height. Well, most definitely in height, so, um, look, he's got all the uh, the physical advantages, but has he got the skill, has he got the power to, uh, to do the job? We will soon see. Hi, welcome once again to round the second event here on the sunny Gold Coast this Sunday afternoon at Quest of the Hurricane. Our second event, ladies and gentlemen, once again is a six by three minute contest. Tonight he fights out of the red corner where he weighed in at 69.85 kilos. He comes from down there in the cold in Melbourne. He's trained by Bryce Burt Whistle with a fight record of four fights, one win, that win by way of KO. He's a former kickboxer. He's a dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul the Dragon Lee. Paul Lee, well, he looks pretty cool. He's got the Elvis shades on and uh, the black jacket. He's a very strong fighter. I saw him fight uh, Nick Totoris on a Stuart Duncan show down there in Melbourne. A terrific show it was, too, put together by Stuart Duncan. and. Uh, he gave a pretty good account of himself against the world-rated junior welterweight and uh, as you can see there, he's a strong, very game, very tough guy. Paul Upham, he looks a, a pretty good prospect. His record isn't that flash, but he has fought some good fighters and uh, he always puts on a very entertaining show. Talking to him, Paul Lee at the weigh-in, you say very confident going into this fight. Uh, he was a little bit overweight at the weigh-in. He had to come back and, and weigh in a second time, but uh, that didn't seem to, to bother him. He was very, very, very confident victory, very over a good, another good young fighter, Stephen uh, NG. And Phil Player, he's uh, about to introduce Mr. NG. His opponent this evening fighting out of the... He's going to be a force in the middleweight and uh, super middleweight and junior middleweight divisions for a long time to come. In the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, he weighed 69.85. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul the Dragon Lee! His opponent in the blue corner, weighed in at 69.65. The grasshopper from the Gold Coast, Stephen Grasshopper NG! The referee for this event, Cyril Cairns. Your judges, Derek Millen, Adrian Cairns and Chris Daly. And Dr. Ron Fulham, your medico at ringside. Well, into the dragon. Here we have Paul Lee, the dragon, against the grasshopper. Stephen NG, former Australian amateur junior middleweight champion. Very polished boxer and yet another star from the Rod Waterhouse stable. Yeah, will the, will the grasshopper jump all over the dragon? We'll soon, we'll soon see. Immediately, uh, Paul up and big contrast in styles. Well, Stevie NG, very tall, got a great reach advantage, and I think you're going to see him just pop into this left hand jab. He's got an excellent jab, so Stephen NG follows up with a good right hand. Oh, beautiful overhand right, though, from uh, Paul Lee to start this uh, first round. Certainly not intimidated, Paul Lee, straight in with a big right hand. If he was a little overweight at the uh, at the weigh-in yesterday, it would have been all muscle he had to lose because he's a little powerhouse. Well, let me tell you, this kid, uh, this is what he needs to do, is to come forward, throw those big heavy shots over the top and work on that body of Stephen uh, NG. He made the impact already. Paul Lee's uh, prevented Stevie NG from getting off to a good start and getting that jab established, and that's what he's got to do, Troy. He's got to get in there and work the body. Just to keep that pressure on Paul, work that body as you're saying. Stay tight, don't get caught with anything silly. You know that Stephen NG has got good power. Oh, there's a beautiful right hand on that. Hurt Paul Lee. Yeah, straight away, Stephen NG showing that uh, he's got plenty of punching muscle there. He certainly showed plenty against Peter Petru in his only professional fight. Petru was a top amateur out of Sydney, and uh, Stephen NG came down there out of the Rod Waterhouse stable and, and did a job on him in four rounds. Yeah, let me tell you, Peter Petru, you know, um, Jeff and he had some, um, some big, uh, big raps on Peter Petru, but he was caught. Oh, there's two oh. beautiful right hands on Paul Lee. 
Paul Lee, he's not intimidated by Stephen N.G. size or his haircut. Oh, he's, uh, he's come to fight. This kid certainly has come to fight. He's caught, he's landed two beautiful right hands. And I'm sure that that's a wake-up call for Stephen N.G. He knows now this kid is here to fight. A lot of power there, Paul Lee, pushing Stephen, uh, pushing Stephen G back with his punches. Oh, oh that's a good right, right hand. Up. Look, he's got to keep that left hand up. I think Stephen NG is falling into the trap. He's just trying to take him out with the right hand himself, and he's uh, he's walking into him. Yeah, and he's blinking that left eye now to his uh, Stephen NG. There's a lot of swelling on that left eye there of Stephen NG. Yeah, if he gets too many right hands on that uh, on that left eye, that could start to close. He's certainly having a lot of trouble seeing out of that left eye. And that's going to be even even the better for Paul Lee to, to, to land with that right hand because he won't see it coming. Can Paul Lee maintain the pace? I guess that's the question. He started very fast. Yeah, he started fast. Still five more rounds to go after this one. I think he surprised uh, Stephen NG the way he started. He's so quick and he's really lunging in there. Stephen NG trying to counter as he lunges in. Yeah, Stephen NG, all credit to him. They're fighting very well. They've done another beautiful right hand. I tell you, Paul Lee can't take too many of those sort of shots because this fight will be all over. Those fighters landing some good bombs here early in the first round. As we get to the closing seconds of the first round, what fireworks we've already seen today and the days just started. I was just about to say, Groundley, we had a crackerjack first fight and, and the second one has started even better. This is an indication of how the fight's going to go tonight. Well, by, by gosh, we've got uh, great action to look forward to. Uh, a little tap of uh, appreciation there from Paul Lee. Admiration. He uh, he cracked Stephen Ng with a few big shots over the top, but Stephen Ng came back with some right hands of his own. I think Paul Lee might have taken that first round there. Landed some very good uh, right hands, Grantly. He did. He, uh, he he not only he not only surprised Stephen Ng. I think he surprised us with the with the fury of his start. There's a cracker of a right hand over the top. Another yeah. right hand. They were and look another right hand. Yeah. That's me. And he does have some power, does Paul Lee. So Stephen Ng, we know now, has got a good chin. And it's almost as though uh, Paul Lee needs a stepladder to get to Stephen Ng. He's, uh, he's well down on the height stakes, but he's uh, manage, managing to find his chin on the side of his head with uh, a great deal of frequency. And I tell you what, they're having a little bit of trouble with that uh, that left eye of Stephen Ng. He's starting to close badly in that first round. Yeah, already, Paul, up on the, the end swells come out. Not a good sign after just one round. That's a very badly swollen eye there, left hand, left eye there from Stephen Ng, and it's going to make it very hard to, for him to uh, put his combinations together, Troy. Oh, look, most definitely it's going to affect his vision. And once that vision has been, once his vision has been affected, he won't be seeing that right eye. He'll be thinking of his eye rather than uh, going to work and uh, using his own punches. Well, we know Paul Lee can really punch. He, uh, he scored a tremendous first round knockout over Dwayne Crow uh, last year. Dwayne Crow was a, a pretty highly touted fighter from the Keith Ellis stable, and Paul Lee put him away in the first round, which is uh, really saying something. And I saw him fight Nick Tatoris, who's a world-rated uh, junior welterweight in the WBO, and he gave Nick Tatoris all the fight he could handle. So he's, uh, he's bringing that sort of form into this fight against Stephen Ng, the former Australian amateur champion, and uh, he's got Stephen Ng on the back foot, certainly at this stage of the second round after a pretty dominating first round performance. Well, look, I've seen a lot of fights in Australia at the moment, a lot of boys running around. Australia's, you know, we're, we're stocked to the barrel full of, um, you know, a lot of really good talent. I mean, we just need to harness that talent, bring some good guys out here for our boys to fight, and uh, there's a few world champions in the making, that's for sure. Stephen, Stephen NG now, what he's trying to do is he's staying up the back side there. On the outside, he's waiting for Paul Lee to jump in. As he jumps in, he's trying to count him with that right hand. Yeah, and that's the best way to do it. Make uh, Paul Lee use his own weight against him there. Yeah, trying to count him with that beautiful right hand. Just missing on that attempt. Yeah, Stephen NG needs to keep that work, work happening with that jab. Oh, a nice uppercut from uh, Stephen NG. Just chipped over the leg of Paul Lee, though. Really looking worse for worse. Stephen NG took just a light right hand there on, just flipped him on the chin. Yeah, but he's getting caught with those sort of shots. Paul Lee comes into this fight with a pretty extensive kickboxing background, too, and obviously uh, that's where he's developed plenty of power. Yeah, he's, he's bustling forward. He's like the bull and the matador in there, but he's uh, at the moment the bull's on top. If Paul Lee can get away with this, this will be a real upset here because Stephen Ng, after that victory over Peter Petru, very highly touted. 
Yeah, yeah referee that, Cyril that, Hands taking him back to the corner now. That eye looks very bad, mate. Yeah, looking very, very nasty. The referee could uh, bring the doctor in. The doctor could stop this fight. Many fingers. Four. Many? Okay. Okay, box on. Box on. Well, his vision's good enough to do the, uh, do the finger count there, but is it good enough to keep avoiding those right hands? We'll, yeah. we'll see now. I tell you what, this fight, if that eye gets any worse, this fight's not for long for the make because uh, he's just not seeing what's coming on that right turn, on his left hand side. Bit of desperation stuff now from Stephen NG. He's starting to wing his punches. He's got to do something to get this guy out of his face. Yeah, the only way he's going to do that is staying on the outside and sticking that jab. Okay. Make him walk, make Paul Lee walk onto that jab. That'll stop Paul Lee coming forward. But he really hasn't been able to utilise that jab, has he, Troy? No, he hasn't. Well, that's the bustling style of Paul Lee. He's, uh, he's negating everything that uh, Stephen NG is doing. That eye looks absolutely horrific now. Yeah, look, this fight's not too long for the making, I'm telling you. They're going to stop this fight very, very shortly. Oh, 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 another big shot on the chin. Beautiful Paul right Lee. uppercut, though, from Stephen NG just at the end of the round, and uh, Paul Lee came back with his own right hand. Well, there he is in the corner, Paul Lee. He's, uh, he's certainly uh, been a surprise pack in his first two rounds. It surprised everyone. Surprised us, surprised Stevie NG and Diamond Dale Westerman there, sticking his head in the former uh, kickboxing and uh, uh, boxing from Victoria. Let's have a look at some of these power shots in close from these boys. Paul Lee walking up all the time. Looking to land the big ones. There's the right hand right in the chin. Stephen NG really was shaken by that one. He's been re shaken repeatedly throughout this fight. Yeah, look, this is a very, very big surprise. Stephen NG was not supposed to have this sort of trouble with Paul Lee as they were putting the end swell on uh, Stephen NG's eye. Trying to, you know, push that hot blood away from that eye. Trying to reduce the swelling so that he has a little bit of vision out of that left eye. Third round, Paul Upham. What does Stephen NG have to do now? The doctor having another look at this eye currently. Fox on. Yeah, the doctor's still determining that he does have some vision out of that left eye. This is a bit like Hagler and Hearns, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, in that fight, Hagler was ba badly cut against Thomas Hearns in the first two rounds, and he came out and knocked him out in the third round. Stephen NG's got to do something like that. He's, he's, he's got to start landing that big right hand of his own. Yeah, well, we know that Stephen NG does have the power, but can he land it against this guy? This guy's just like a bull. He's coming in. He's, uh, he's being very, very effective, making a Stephen NG miss. He just has to try and counter Paul Lee as he, as he lunges. He's got to try and hit with that right hand, but uh, Paul Lee, he's just got a swarming type style. He's really putting Stephen uh, NG off his game here. Yeah, what Stephen NG needs to do, he keeps going back in a straight line. He's got to get some lateral movement. When Paul Lee comes, uh, you know, marching forward like the ball, he needs to step out to the left or to the right and counter with his own shots, not go back in a straight line. Stephen NG uh, is getting caught with shots when he's doing that. He's doing there, trapped on the Watch ropes. Watch our heads, both of you. Well, it's about a, over a minute gone in this first round. Stephen NG's yet to throw a jab. That's really been his downfall so far, hasn't Most it? Most definitely. Well, what happened was Paul Lee caught him with a couple of right hands early, and uh, he's made Stephen NG a little bit wary of throwing that left hand. So you think Stephen NG's gun shy at this stage? Oh, oh look, I'm positive that he's gun shy at the moment. He's been caught with some big shots. He's felt the power of uh, Paul Lee, and he's a little bit wary at the moment. And there's another right hand. He looks a mess, Stephen NG, Paul Upham. He's, uh, his face is just distorted now. You, you wouldn't think he could see out of that left eye, and that's obviously going to put him off. And He just can't establish that jab, and Paul Lee is just all over him. And Paul Lee's showing that if you time your punches properly, Troy, you, you can uh, land against a taller fighter. Oh, look, most definitely. He's keeping the pressure on. That is the most important thing with a shorter fighter fighting a guy who is taller. He must keep the pressure on. Oh, there's another beautiful right hand. Straight on that left eye. I think the doctor has to stop this fight at the end of this round. Because well, he's just so relaxed and composed now, Paul Lee. Oh, and there's, there's a, no, a tremendous shot. Yeah, the referee, it's all over him. Well, I was just about to say the referee might not have to stop this fight because that, that right hand from uh, Paul Lee put uh, Stephen NG in all sorts of trouble. The legs went to jelly. He was walking on licorice legs at the moment. Obviously, you can't see out of that left eye, and uh, you can't really see where half those punches are coming from. Oh, there's a nice odd uppercut, though, from uh, Stephen NG. He doesn't realise that he hurt Paul Lee. He stunned Paul Lee with that beautiful right uppercut. Got the effort from Stephen NG. He's still fighting back. He's trying to win the fight. He's trying to hit with that right hand. Well, he look, he has to come home strong. 
We've got 20 seconds left in the third round, and let me tell you, that eye is looking ugly. It's a nasty right eye. Paulie's starting to look a little bit fatigued. And why wouldn't he? It's been a very, very fast pace. End of another very bad round there for Stephen NG. That eye looks hideous. I think we're going to have to bend the doctor in and have a look at this eye because I, from what I can see, there's uh, Rod Waterhouse putting the end swell on that eye, trying to push that hot blood away. But I do not think he can see out of that, uh, that left eye pull up him. Yeah, the doctor's just waiting. It looks like he's going to come up the stairs again as we see some replay here. And Paul Lee, he's really attacking now with those right hands. There's some great body work there. Just about to say, not concentrating on the head, still dug those three shots down to the body. Beautiful punching. He's trying to come back, Stephen NG, but Paul Lee, his, uh, his weight of punches and his power of punches has just been too much for him in this first three rounds. He got off to a great start, Paul Lee, in that first round, and Stephen NG wasn't able to recover. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see whether the doctor allows this fight to continue. Because the, boxer, the doctor is actually coming into the ring. The doctor wants to have a look. I'm not going to allow this fight to uh, continue until he uh, does check that eye. How many? Five. Oh. Box. Well, they're letting him continue. Uh, doesn't look well, Stephen NG. He's got to do something in this round because he can't. He can't keep taking punishment the way he has. That no, that's that's most definitely ground. He really does need to pull something out of the fire because he is uh, at the moment. He's uh, he's like a guy in a dark alley. He's getting beat up. And because he's uh, he's so wary of uh, Paul Lee's punching power, Paul Lee's pretty composed and, and relaxed, and uh, he's able to do pretty much as he likes in there. Well, there's not a great deal coming uh, coming back. He can even take a breather when he wants to. Most definitely. Not a great deal coming back from uh, Stephen NG. He's a little bit wary of the power that Paul Lee does possess. I know the boys at the uh, Burley Boxing Gym would be enjoying this. Uh, Great start to the day. Smokey Dawson and Chubby McAvoy up there. They've uh, been helping out Jorge Castro in preparation for today's big fight with Paul Briggs. We hope they haven't been helping out too much uh, because we're here to see Paul Briggs do a, do a great job for Australian boxing today. Of course, the Burley Boxing Gym, one of the oldest gyms in the country, one of the best gyms on the coast, and uh, it was the headquarters for Jeff Fennick when he was training up here for quite a while. Well, Craig Castro has had some good training and... Um, Oh, what a right hand on the eye of uh, Stephen NG. Steve, uh, Stephen NG, I don't think uh, he's avoided one of those right hands over the top. All, well, all fine. The doctor keeps telling uh, telling us that he can see out of that left eye. I'm not too sure, Grantley. I think uh, he's having a little bit of trouble seeing uh, the right hands coming now. Yeah, well, it's all right, I guess, to be counting fingers, but um, fingers aren't hitting him on the side of the head with the big boxing glove on the end of it, knocking his head around. Well, no, that's right. That eye, that's an ugly eye. That's, you know, that's one of the worst eyes that I've seen uh, in all my years of boxing, especially being at a live fight. That eye is completely closed. Paul Lee just slowing up a little bit in this round. He's, uh, he's giving a chance to Stephen NG to try and get back into this fight. <laughs> let me tell you, when now Stephen NG does let those shots go, he really does look good. But he's just not doing it enough. Paul Lee's just a little bit untidy at the moment with his punches, and uh, that could open the door for Stephen NG to land one of those right hands some good, uh, good jabs there from Stephen NG. Yeah, we'll only take one crushing blow to change this fight, that is for sure. But you know that Stephen NG does have the power. He just needs to find the avenue to uh, unleash that big right hand that he does have. Paul Lee's definitely slowed up in this round, but uh, as we come down to the final few seconds of the round number four, Stephen NG still in trouble with that eye. Still on the receiving end of too much punishment. Yeah, just not being effective at keeping Paul Lee away from him. Dragon for Melbourne, Paul the Dragon, Lee! 